Hey guys, there's an app right now on Facebook where you can actually vintage yourself. This is an absolute gift because you can take those photos, print them at Walgreens, and create yourself a vintage wall display. I use those photos to actually vintage my pets. My pet Tigger, I also vintage my pet cat, Buddy Love, my dog Madam Minnie, my dog Madam Mickey, and my Sir Winston dog. I started out with going to the Goodwill and getting these picture frames and I wanted to keep into the color that I have going on in my home so I brought those picture frames home and I went ahead and painted those vintage frames so you can actually get really nice vintage frames from the Goodwill for around five to six dollars and all you need to do is paint them to add them to your wall display and it will look absolutely beautiful. Now obviously I'm showing you the most inexpensive way to do this, but it is something that you can create and that will actually make a big statement. I'm gonna actually put my display in my entryway. So here I'm just laying everything out, trying to decide which frames I want and how I want it displayed on the wall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So if you watch my YouTube channel, I will have the full video available in a couple of days of how I put this together. Everybody, it's Kika Ray, your lifestyle blogger. And in this video episode, we are gonna talk about a vintage photo gallery. Yes. So keep watching, more video footage coming up. All right guys, so let's get into this fun video and how I just came up with the idea to start a vintage photo gallery. So as you guys already know, for the past year, I have been redesigning my home my turn of a century home. So my, my home turned 100 years old this year. So anyway, in doing that, the design features that I have selected for my home is in keeping with the era of the home. So with that being said, the entrance is a huge factor. So as you guys see, I renovated the bedrooms, the back porch where my dogs are, my kitchen and re-upgraded my appliances to be more AI, my living room, stained the floors, painted, added new photos, all types of different things. Well, now we're at the point where I want to do some updating to my entryway. And we're going to start with my front door. Now, my front door faces the driveway, so it's not actually a front door that faces like a boulevard or anything like that. However, needless the same, it needs to be perfect and beautiful because it is the entrance to your home. It makes the statement for your home before anyone even is able to walk in. And if someone is not able to walk in, the entryway gives them a feel for what this home is all about. Now, I must have been doing a good job because I have a lot of salespeople coming to my door and knocking on my door, so I definitely have to get a no solicitation sign. <laughs> but we are going to talk about the entry and what it should look like so if you guys remember i painted my door blue and i have this blue theme going on on the inside of my house on my she shed the back door the front door i love the blue i'm gonna keep the blue i do need to update the paint because it's chipping a little bit on my door and i was gonna just go ahead and just get a whole new door but i decided i'm gonna go ahead and keep this door and the problem may be in the fact that i don't have a screen door or any outer layer before you actually get to that main door so i am going to be working on investigating and finding a screen door as well so that way i can take care of that piece I am also the two planters that are on each side that I painted blue. Those need a little bit of updating as well. So I'm going to touch up the paint on that and I'm going to plant some flowers inside of those. Now in the past, I used fake plants, but I really want to spice it up a little bit. I don't want to use anything that's going to attract bees, mosquitoes, or just insects that I don't want, but I do want to make that really beautiful. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to do it. I absolutely love green onions. I use them constantly. If you go to the store and you buy them, lately they've been running out at the store, but you go to the store, you buy them, they're great. And then after you use them, you kind of keep the root or the little bulb part. I'm gonna use that and replant that in these planters on each side because I like the way they grow out and then I could just pick them and use them and replant them. 
not maybe feasible for the winter months when we have the winter months going on so I have to bring the plants inside which is fine but in the summer months spring months fall months different things like that this will work so I think I'm going to do that in addition I'm thinking about a way to kind of paint the archway because the paint is or chipping on that as well so I want to paint the archway and I don't know if I want to go with the same color that I have because I don't think I have that color to match exactly but I can try or I might want to mix it up and just put some white on there as well. So I'm still thinking and pondering about the outside of my front door. But when you walk inside the front door, there's a wall there. That wall I had painted black. I hung a white um, coat rack and then we hung our coats on there. Well, now I have winter coats still hanging there. You walk in the door and it's just not right. Not to mention, I don't really sweep that area much, but last week I did end up putting some lights in that area because at night it just doesn't light up enough and you can fall and you can trip and we're older people. So I made sure I lit, lit up that area. However, what I really wanna do now is take care of that wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and order the vintage wallpaper. You know that one focal wall that I have that's the vintage wallpaper? I'm gonna do a focal wall on that entrance wall as well. And then I am going to do a vintage art gallery. Now, not just any vintage art gallery. I've been watching YouTube videos and I've been seeing how people have been doing it. And I don't wanna put pictures of dead people on my wall. So none of that. Or people that I don't know or these strange looking people just creeps me out so I'm not gonna do that I want to make mine a little bit more fun because I have a fun whimsical personality and my house I want to make the statement of me and how I am so anyway I was playing around on Facebook and it came on this vintage app and I was able to make myself into these vintage people in these different vintage time eras I did a queen I did um, actually I'm gonna show it to you right here I did the queen and I did some other vintage pictures, as you can see. And I really like it a lot. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use those photos, five of them that I really like. And I'm going to put them in different size frames. And I'm going to put them on the wall. And I'm going to hang them like they did back in the era when this house was came into existence. And also the backdrop will be that vintage wallpaper. In addition to that, I vintage my pets. Yes. And I think these are quirky and cute and fun because if you remember in my previous design, I had pictures of cows and just different things like that. And I just think it's just, I like those. But I want my pets, my pets that I have that I love, I'm gonna vintage them as well and hang them on this wall. And I'm gonna display it in an art gallery formality. So when people walk in the door, they see this wallpaper print and they see that fun vintage gallery going on. And then it gives them a impression of what they're going to see as they make their way through the rest of the home even if they get to the make their way through the rest of the home but anyway you know what I'm saying that is what we're gonna work on today so lots of great things coming I went to Dollar Tree and the Goodwill so you're gonna go shopping with me so keep watching more video footage coming up all right you guys so I started my journey going to Goodwill and they have this section where they have lovely frames so I finally picked out a couple of frames and I was so surprised. These were great frames. They were only $2.99 each, but I did get a discount because I'm a healthcare worker. So I ended up paying actually $5 for both of these frames, just $5, you guys. So I am really excited to put these frames on my wall and it's gonna go nicely with the black and white wallpaper. All right, guys. Oh. Real quick, I want to show you what I purchased from the Goodwill for my vintage wall. So, I believe I showed you these already, but I'm just going to show you again. These are the actual picture frames. It's going to go with the king and queen, and the king and queen of the house is, of course, queen me. And king is going to be my cat, Buddy, who actually runs all of the animals in the house. So. These are our picture frames, and these are five by seven. And then 
An 8x10, I wanted it to be a little more antique, so I went to the Goodwill shopping, of course, and I found this. But I'm going to end up taking this picture out and replacing it with the picture that I printed. And I did the printing of the pictures at Walgreens. So you can do that. And I did an 11 by 14 picture. So it'll intricately fit where this girl is inside this frame. And then I'm going to paint this frame that blue color. Because it still has the intricate detail in the design. And I kind of do like the gold. But it just doesn't go with anything that I'm working on. So the blue is going to accent it perfectly for when I wallpaper that wall, that vintage wallpaper. So let's look at the pictures that I got. So I picked up my pictures. It came to about $27. And you can find these pictures online. So I went online and I printed this. So this is representing my dog Winston, Tigger, Minnie, or Mickey and Minnie. So those are my pets. And then going to fit in there and then this is of course the on Facebook they have the thing where you can vintage yourself so this is me vintage a vintage younger version of me I guess <laughs> so that's going to go in that black frame and then this one is my cat buddy the king of the house all vintage that's going to go in the other frame so I'm going to go ahead and put these in the frame and then show you guys how it looks and then we will be getting prepped and ready so that way we can wallpaper that wall and get it all ready and then get our vintage pictures up for the entryway. So keep watching. All right, guys. So this is what everything looks like in its respective areas in the frame. So this is just an example of what it's going to look like when I put the dog, the four dogs in one photo not yet figured out how i'm going to do this but i did get the frame from goodwill for about seven dollars so what i think i'm gonna do is cut this back out and then i'm gonna put together my own like matte finish um in the background so i'm just trying it out just different ways just to see what will actually work best but i think i'm gonna have the white behind the actual photo i think that would look better so as you can see i have to use tape on all four corners make sure you take all four corners because this paper tends to move around it is Dollar Tree paper and then you want to go ahead and start cutting out the paper both paper the black and white to be basically the same size because what you're gonna do is when you put your photo in now you can cut around and make sure that you get the actual dimensions that you need and this is what it looks like all finished I think it's absolutely perfect and it looks wonderful in the frame and ready to go on my vintage wall. So here's all the pieces together. I have everything done. I just have one thing left to do. I'm not feeling this gold, so I'm going to have to paint that. And that is what I'm going to start doing right now. Starting to paint that gold blue so that way everything matches when it's against the black and white floral wallpaper that's coming in the mail. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few coats until I'm satisfied with the actual color of this paint. But I think that painting this frame is going to give me the effect that I need on the wall. picture frame took a lot of work I don't know if you guys are familiar with the vintage picture frames but they have a lot of intricate details so going over it one time with paint just will not do you have to go over it several times to make sure that you cover everything so in addition to working with this actual frame I decided that I needed a few more frames and the best way to do this cost effectively and save money is to take a trip to Dollar Tree 
So here I was making a trip to Dollar Tree to actually look for some additional picture frames that I could use for this design. Now it's going to get a little tricky because I want to make sure I get the good frames here. Sometimes Dollar Tree has really some good finds, so that is what I am in search for with this trip. And I actually found what I was looking for, so I'm very pleased with these frames. I just need to paint them. And here are the frames all painted with that blue. Here's one that I still need to do, but the blue is turning out very nice. Next, I need to work on my wall display. Hey guys, I am back. So, as you know, it's been several days that I've been working on this project, but I think that finally, this week, it's gonna come to a head and everything will finally be done. But, so far, let's talk a little bit more about my progress. So, in the attempt to do a vintage wall, I really am taking a liking to the different shapes and, um, prints and just different things like that and what I mean by different shapes I'm talking more in depth of the picture frame itself what I've noticed with vintage artwork design or when people are putting together a vintage wall they have different shapes and sizes of prints and different details on each of those um, frames and I like that and I should have said shapes and sizes of frames is actually what I meant so what I did to kind of offset it a little bit because if you ever did your research and kind of dive into a vintage wall it can get spendy for those frames some of those frames had really nice like different things on it and beveled and i'm going to kind of display some here so you can see but different and beveled designs different shapes um just a lot and as i was looking at the thrift store it's really hard to find those you can get some but they're not the right color so you have to paint them or if you go to online to um you know Etsy or you want to go to Amazon these picture frames can range anywhere from $25 to $50 so it can get pretty spendy to get the right picture frame for your wall so with that being said if you want to save money you got to be creative and that's what I did I decided to do so I went to Dollar Tree and I picked four frames and I wanted it in the four by six size because I like that cost it's cost like three dollars to print it at Walgreens and it just works a lot better. So once my family finally gets all of their vintage pictures to me, my son and I were going back and forth because a vintage picture that he thought was vintage <laughs> wasn't really vintage. And But I finally decided on one that I'm going to use for him, um, just based on his girlfriend's picture that she sent me. So they kind of match. So we'll leave it at that. But I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up just some cheap frames. And so this is what I did. I did paint it. So this is the finished look. And I believe I showed you guys this, but I wanted this color because this is my pop of color throughout my home. So I just did not only that big frame with the dog, but I did two frames like this. And then I'm going to place them intricately. And then I have black frames. Now, I didn't go with the white just because the background that I'm using is the black and white floral design and I don't think the white really looks good with that I like the black because it makes it pop and I like this color because the color pops so I want frames with the pop of color and if I can't get ones with the fancy I'm okay with as long as it has matching colors the other one I got is more of a contemporary design and it's this one but it has the silver and that's going on in my house on the fridge and in, and uh, my stove and stuff so this would work. So I got two of these, and I think with the vintage picture in it, we can make this work. So what I'm gonna do now is lay everything out on the floor as if I wanted to put it on my wall and see what it looks like. And then I am going to wallpaper that entry wall, move that coat rack and wallpaper that entry wall. And then we're gonna see kind of what it looks like as we start to place these photos. Now what may happen not all of my family members got their vintage pictures back to me, so I may end up ending this video before they do that, um, but I'll make sure later that I um, put a blog post up to show you actually the finishing look. So if you're following me on Facebook too, go ahead and I'll have a blog 
or a Facebook post probably towards the end of the week with exactly what everything looks like with the pictures and just all in its place and everything. But you're going to get a really, really good sense of what where I'm going with this. And that is the reason for this video, because if this is something that you're interested in doing, which is so much fun and it saves you so much money because, of course, that's what my blogs are all about, how you can do things for less money. Um, keep watching more video footage. OK, guys, I want to stress that you need to lay things out, relook at it twice check it again and again because you want to make sure that you have everything laid out exactly the way that you want to put it on your wall so you may need to fool with this a few times in order to get it right and then look at it in a different setting just to make sure that everything is superb the colors are matching everything is looking good and superb you want to make sure you do that before you actually put the picture frames on the wall So here I go changing my front entryway. So I first started with removing this fixture thing that I have hanging here along with the coat rack. This had to absolutely go. I thought it was a good idea at first when I first put it up, but all the coats and winter coats and the stuff that we had in this small entryway was really taking up a lot of space. So I needed to change this space totally. So I am removing this coat rack and I'm going to move it down a little bit so that way it's over in the more in the basement area, kind of behind the curtains. So that is what I'm going to do, just repurposing it. So here I just need to clean up this space and make sure that everything is nice and clean before I get started. Here's the coat rack repurposed and I started adding my vintage wallpaper for my vintage wall. It's really tricky because this wall has many different angles so I needed to make sure I covered absolutely everything. Discovered that I didn't have enough wallpaper so this wall is going to only be halfway covered. However, I do have a remedy for the other half. I'm going to hang a shelf and then display some nice vintage things on that shelf. So here is the wall all finished with my photos up. I don't have all the photos here yet, but you get an idea of what it will look like. Okay, so today I purchased this cute shelf and I got this off Facebook Marketplace for about $15. I also had some accessories, these keys that you see here, and this door lock with a key inside. I already had those and it just added to the look of my vintage wall. And I really like the way everything has come together. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you get notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.